Hey YouTube, how are you guys doing today? I just wanted to make sure that you guys got more uh, time on this time-lapsing tutorial. Uh, last one I felt was probably a little bit rushed and it wasn't the best uh, setting that I would like to have shown you guys. Uh, time-lapsing at night is a lot of fun. I personally love to do it. Um, tonight we're here in LA. Behind me I got the Disney Concert Hall. Uh, we've been shooting the corner here with all the cars passing by. Uh, people walking by, it looks fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna put up right now on the screen some of the uh, uh, shots that I've been taking while I've been here. Uh, the last time we used a Canon 40D, this time we're using a Canon 7D. Uh, if you guys have 70s and 5Ds, both those cameras perform very well in low light settings. Uh, 5D more because it is a full frame sensor, so it will perform a lot better in the, in the low light setting. But at 100 ISO, doesn't matter what camera you use, you won't get any grain. It's, it's perfect. Uh, I am using a different time-lapsing remote than uh, we used the last time. We did show you guys a cheap alternative to the Canon. Um, it is a Canon TC80N3. I'll put it in the description bar below so you guys can check it out. The other one that we used was a uh, shoot. It's a generic uh, time-lapse uh, remote, but it worked just as fine. Um, this has a little more bells and whistles on it. Uh, depending on how deep you are into time lapsing, whether it's worth to buy this one or not, this one will cost you right around 140 to about 170. So it is pretty steep. Uh, versus the other one was only 20 bucks through Amazon. So again, you guys have to make the decision on which uh, will suit your needs better. But in this case, I am using this today uh, to give it a shot and to see how it works out with uh, my 7D. Okay, guys. So. Uh, here we've got our Canon TC80N3. I'm using my 7D and my Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter lens. Uh, right now I've got my settings at 100 ISO. You wanna keep your ISO down to the lowest possible, 100. I would suggest 100, keep that noise down completely. Your image will be almost flawless. My shutter speed's at five seconds and my aperture is at eight. Uh, you could put it anywhere between 8 and 11. just depends on what you guys are doing and what you like. Uh, if you need to go higher, then you be the judge of that. You can. I just would suggest that, I only would suggest that you don't shoot at a 2.8, especially during the night. Uh, you want to make sure a lot of your image is in focus. Give yourself that broad uh, depth of field. You don't want a narrow depth of field when you're shooting landscape or time-lapsing in this case. Um, this remote is working out great, but like I said, the alternative uh, to this is your shoot, which is only 20 bucks through Amazon, okay? Uh, but this is pretty good. It is working out nice, but it costs a lot more. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy some of these shots that we're taking here. If you have any questions, please let us know. Leave in the description bar below, and uh, we'll answer your questions as quickly as possible. Uh, if you have any comments, please do so. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe. If you have, thank you very much. Uh, we look forward to sharing more videos with you. Uh, until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Take care. Oh, <laughs> please.